Kitco Mining special coverage of Fast Markets Lithium Supply and Battery Raw Materials is brought to you by Lindian Resources. Lithium is a critical metal, but it relies on other metals to make it critical. I'm with William Adams. He is the head of Battery Raw Materials here at Fast Markets. William, welcome back to Kitco. Good. Well, good to be here. Thank you very much. Let's start with nickel. We have seen that nickel price has gone soft uh, due to oversupply. Yeah, we have, um, and it's you know it's uh, not that surprising. I think uh, we've also had sort of slight weakness in the demand side as affecting it as well. Um, and one of the reasons for the on the demand side is I think we've had uh, constrained um, the vehicle production in Europe um, mm. because of the uh, Russian-Ukraine war for one factor. Uh, and that's um, actually slowed down sort of the demand for, uh, not demand, but production of EVs in mm. Europe. Um, and that and Europe tends to have um, uh, NCM type batteries, so back, lithium ion batteries that use nickel. Uh, so that's been one of the factors. But we've also had, as you said, you know, the supply side, we've seen a significant increase in, in supply from Indonesia. Um, mm. And it's, that's a really interesting um, aspect of the market because Back in sort of 2018, the Chinese started to partnership with some of the Indonesian nickel producers, uh, and they've brought on nickel, new nickel supply, um, which is um, at, in quite a, a surprisingly fast time. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that's uh, I think the market expected there would be delays and things like that. But even with COVID and all the delays that that caused, they've still managed to push forward and get that new supply on the market. And that, that sort of the, the that's the sort of the nickel that's um, uh, that's what sort of caused the price to come down. And it's a, it is a particular sort of nickel. It's um, nickel in MHP, uh, which is particularly suitable for the battery market. Yeah. So we've seen um, that sort of way on, on the nickel prices. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple of people that are advancing some uh, nickel projects right now, uh, you know, and obviously these are long term, but also very expensive projects as well. What's the long term outlook for those guys? Or do you think they'd be supported to have something outside of uh, Indonesia? Definitely. I think, you know, people are looking to diversify their supply chains. So much of the nickel now is produced in Indonesia. Uh, so there is need for the diversified supply. And also because, you know, um, the lithium-ion batteries are being used now are, are getting more and more popular, the very high nickel ones. So we're going to need a lot more nickel. So mm -hmm. if you look at the NCM811, which is, you know, then we get, that's got eight parts of nickel to one part um, cobalt or one part manganese. So, and you get even higher uh, nickel uh, weightings as well. Mm -hmm. How about the cobalt supply? I assume it's still all about the Congo, right? Uh, it is, but also uh, interesting, the Indonesian nickel supply also oh, has okay. a byproduct right. of cobalt yeah, yeah. as well. So uh, in the MHP, there is nickel and there is cobalt. And so that's actually a, a, a really good uh, material, uh, mm -hmm. intermediate material for the, um, uh, the battery manufacturers because they've got nickel and cobalt in the same mixture. Mm -hmm. I think to emphasize support as well too, China really dominates these market cobalt and nickel, correct? They, in the processing side, yes. Yeah. So they need to import, they need, they don't have the raw materials. They have some nickel, um, uh, but they tend to need to, uh, they do need to import the raw materials. And then that is processed in, in, um, in China, yes. Uh, we're at uh, your Fast Market show. Thank you very much for hosting. We've been having a good time. But, um, you know, talking to other people, talking to miners or talking to juniors, talking to suppliers, what's been an undercovered metal in the space? Yeah, interesting. Uh, probably... Um, Graphite, I think, uh, out of the battery raw materials. Um, and I think, again, so much graphite is processed uh, and produced in China. Um, mm -hmm. And as we're in the US, um, and as we, as the sort of the IRA um, um, uh, legislation sort of comes into effect, that's going to cause an issue. So we're going to need to see much more diversification of supply uh, with graphite being um, produced outside of China and processed outside of China. So I think that, and it, it's going to take a lot of investment. So that's that's probably where uh, we need to really be focused. Uh, the one uh, term that uh, came up, uh, me covering the show right now, has been uh, ESS or energy storage systems. It's kind of been hold on to your hats uh, type of, um, uh, how would you say, sentiment uh, just regarding ESS? Yeah, so it, um, ESS is, uh, we think it's going to grow at a faster compound average growth rate than lithium. Um, but it's coming off a very low base. But as we see um, 
uh, this, the real push by governments and, and, and populations generally looking to move away uh, to reduce their carbon footprint, to reduce, um, to come to sort of zero, um, zero carbon. We're going to need an awful lot more uh, re renewable energy, um, and a lot of that's going to come from wind and solar uh, power. Uh, and that goes, a bit, um, ESS, battery storage, goes hand in hand with that. So we're going to see, a, it, it's, it's yeah, potentially a much bigger market than even the EV market. We know roughly had the size of the EV market. We know, um, you know where, you know, where, the, where the sort of the cap, the top of that market is. But on the energy storage systems, over you know, many decades, it's, uh, you know, we don't know how much is going to be needed um, at the moment, really. So it's, it's got a lot of room to go. Oh, William, lastly, uh, your takeaways from the show. I think I think um, that probably because we're here in in uh, in the US, it, it is the uh, the implications of the IRA um, mm -hmm. and how that's going to affect um, metals. You know, so it, not all metals, especially in the battery raw materials, are, are going to be compliant with so much production in in China as well. We're going to have to see more processing and more sourcing from areas that are uh, will become IRA compliant. Um, and then the interesting thing is whether that will then uh, command premiums for some of those, some of the raw materials that are uh, compliant. So I think that's an area where there's a lot of interest at the moment. Mm -hmm. William, thanks for speaking with Kitco. Thank you very much. My name is Michael McRae with Kitco Mining here at Fast Markets 15 for some supply and battery raw material show in Henderson, Nevada. Kitco Mining special coverage of Fast Markets Lithium Supply and Battery Raw Materials is brought to you by Lindian Resources.